came home the other day and someone was nice enough to dispose of their junk at my front door. Yes, somebody actually left a Vizio TV right in front of my garage and said, you can have it. Let's see if it works and whether we can fix it. I got this uh, Vizio uh -oh TV. It was just left at uh, in front of my garage door there uh, a few weeks back. So I figured I'd plug it in and see if it works. And uh, to my surprise, it's receiving signals off air. So let's just see whether everything else works on here. So I'll just try the input. We'll try the HDMI. Let's see whether the HDMI input works. It doesn't appear to work. Let's try the component. I have the component also connected. Let's see whether the component works. So component works. Component works, but HDMI does not. I have them both connected to the same source. So looks like there's a component failure. It's giving me a I'm getting this message coming up. Once I unplug that, that would probably go away. So it looks like there's a problem with the HDMI input on this, this uh, television. It actually doesn't have a bad picture, considering what it is. It's not the brightest picture in the world, that's for sure. But it's pretty bright in the shop here. But it, it certainly is a, it's a nice clear picture. And this set would be great for someone, you know, for a basic set. No HDMI inputs as it sits. We'll pull the back off this thing and uh, see whether the HDMI uh, problem is going to be solvable. It may not be. It may be the HDMI decoder itself or the HDMI switch. But we'll take a look and see what type of an input is on this TV. Uh, I'm not going to be spending much time on this just because it's got no value. If I put this up as a free TV, I can get rid of it as a free TV, but I'm certainly not going to make any money on it. But let's pull the back off this one and just take a look inside it. So this is the HDMI switch, the HDMI connectors over here, off, off to the right that you can't see, but there's an HDMI connector off to the right, the side connector. HDMI 1 and 2 are here, and if we follow the traces through, we'll see that the traces end up over on this IC, as well as some other traces that, that head, head over to the other side of the board for HDMI 3. But all the HDMI signals get switched through this IC. And that is likely going to be where the problem is. Either A, it's not getting any power, or B, the IC itself has popped. Now, if the IC is popped, it's game over. Because I'm not gonna I'm not going to source and change out an HDMI switch IC. This is a BGA mounted chip, and I don't have the equipment to change a BGA chip. Plus, it's not going to be worthwhile doing because again, this television has no value. But let's check some voltages and see whether there's any uh, voltages getting to that HDMI switch. Okay, I've got the television on now and I'm just gonna try measuring some voltages in and around this chip. And we'll see whether there's any voltages getting to the uh, the chip itself, or at least in the vicinity. As you can see, this is an LG display. LG did a, a lot of the builds for Vizio. Two volts there, two volts there. I'm just checking through some of the uh, the regulators and so forth. Is it five volt. 
2.8 here, 2.8 there, 2.8, 2 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, okay, that's, that's how voltage going through it. I thought one time when I tried measuring this, it looked like zero, and I thought maybe one of the uh, here was open, but it looks like it's okay. I guess these are actually just zero ohm resistors is what they are. 3.3 So the voltages are there. So this is a, an early smart TV and it, it has all these apps uh, built in but there's one small problem. You see none of the apps work. Netflix is no longer available on this device. At least the Yahoo Finance works How about Yahoo News Yahoo News works if you want to read the news you can read the news through this TV but Hulu Plus looks like it's no longer working that app has been disabled Even Voodoo doesn't work. Basically what's happened is all the old apps have been disabled. Probably no apps available for this thing anymore. Oh, you can do, you can use a calculator on your TV. Whoa. It doesn't look like you can do much with this. Let's see if tune in radio works. Probably tell me that this app is no longer supported. version 0.44.0 what do you guess it's not going to work Maybe, maybe this actually will work. This might be the only thing that works on this smart TV. But 
And then again, maybe not. Oh, I have to choose the stream. Let's uh, see whether it actually play anything. Ha! <laughs> Media player, end of playlist. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, it's probably fairly safe to say that TuneIn Radio also doesn't work. actually works. What do you know? Let's see if we can pick up Gold London. Huh. So th this actually works on this TV. I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised that this actually works. You try to load up Hulu Plus. It's no longer supported on this device. Sorry for the inc inconvenience. So basically it's planned obsolescence. This TV is uh, going to be only good for two things. Either watching TV with an antenna, which works, and watching TV using component inputs, not HDMI. Now, I think I can say with pretty good certainty that this chip is the fault because it's getting hot. It's quite warm. Yeah, it's warmer than other chips. It's not super hot, but it is. It is fairly warm. Warmer than I think it should be. So we have an HDMI uh, switch failure on this. HDMI input switch has failed. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Because it's just not worth fixing. The TV, as you saw, the only app that really works, I guess some of the, the finance apps works and stuff, and the news app works. TuneIn Radio works on some stations, but not others. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll just give it away to somebody else and uh, let it become their problem. And if nobody wants it, unfortunately, this one's going to be going to the bin. But uh, it does have... An RGB input on the back, which is something that modern sets do not have. That way it's easy to connect this up directly to a computer using the RGB input. And again, component input will still deliver HDTV through it. And it has an off-air tuner that will receive the local stations. So for someone who's looking for a free TV, this might just do the job. Anyway, I'm going to throw the back on it and get it out of here. Thanks for watching.